As a parent, it is vital that we understand the important role we play in our child's physical activities. We need to ensure that we encourage them, that we motivate them, help them develop a positive sporting attitude, and that we teach them that it's okay not always to win. It's okay, Ryle, not to win all the time, buddy. <laughs> well, look, guys, joining us this morning is Western Province Athletics Coach, National Sprinter, and Milneton High School teacher, Roscoe Engel, who will be discussing the benefits of sport for children and how parents can go about helping their kids pick the right sport for them. Roscoe, my coach as well, always delivering the pain. How are you doing this morning, man? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for having me. It's such a wonderful um, experience to represent coaches and move the way forward as we will be opening opening sport again in 2021. So yeah. What an introduction. Yeah. yeah, man, completely, man. He doesn't look so bad. The way he talks about <laughs> you, that you, you know, I was, I was expecting devil. horns, man, yeah. Um, I, I, I love the fact that you are here and that we're pushing something that my physical life growing up has given me so much. Being able to participate in sports, have amazing coaches, mentors, teammates. Mm. Um, it's taught me so much about myself and about life. Why do you think, as a coach who, who works in that space with kids, why it's so important for kids, for young people to have participation in sports and, and what do they benefit from? Well, first you learn about teamwork and working together and the ethics that sports brings is to respect each other. And it helps you with big skills in making decisions. This is the biggest part for me is decision making. Oh. Oh, look, Roscoe, I, I've seen it and I see you coaching and I see all the parents watching and uh, it, it's, it seems to be such an easy thing to get involved in when you maybe as a parent were a sprinter and now all you want for your kid is to be a sprinter. Like you're going to be a sprinter, <laughs> it's in our family's blood, but how do you actually go about choosing the right sport yeah, for your kid and not just person. putting your sort of ambition and dream onto them? Patience is a big part of it in the development of any young pupil and they have to experiment you know they have to try every different sport and sometimes they follow their friends as well and it helps it comforts them in doing all the different sports and then actually they they grow into one or even two sometimes they, there's a summer and there's a winter and we hope that it keeps the child on the right track with all the development and skills because they invest themselves big time and it's not only those that are excelling at the top tier of that but you you want kids to be involved you know, regardless of their aptitude. So when do you know how much to push? If your child isn't showing a natural skill in something, do you push them a little bit harder to maybe dig a bit deeper, find something, or do you move on to something else? How should you as a parent be pushing your child, do you think? My parents that I am involved with, with uh, young pupils, they have so much trust in me and I am grateful for that. So when the parents trust in the coach, the coach can actually help them make such a good decision for their child's future. As for pushing, uh, it, you don't really want to apply that much pressure on a young pupil. They will gain the experience themselves, but also you need that little bit of pressure just to help develop them further, you know, diamonds form under pressure as well. Yeah, mm. said like I, a two coach, I love that. <laughs> and, and I have to throw this question in, Roscoe, you've been in the sport and you've been pushing, you've dealt with the pressure for so many years, all the way to beating someone by the likes of like Justin Gatling, man, in which I look up to you, but we, were you given that pressure from your parents or is it something that you kind of developed on your own through your process? Well, I've had a lot of guidance from my parents. This was their biggest contribution and I appreciate it so much. But I've also learned to develop on my own, gain strength over time and experience and constant training and races. You know how hard mm. we train. And versing each other even in training develops that confidence too. So by the time I got to face a world champion like Justin Gatlin, it was just muscle memory. I calmed myself down. Just I thought day. that all the hard work has been done so it's time to face off. There's nothing further you can do in that moment, but just perform, do your best, get excited, be in your happy space, Beef. and everything yeah. just unfolds. Oh, it's enough to get any parent excited when you're hearing your child speak like this. Yeah. Man, <laughs> I, I'm thinking about myself as a parent on the sidelines, man. I don't know what kind of parents I'm going to be with my, my poor kids. <laughs> I, I have a feeling I'm going to be a coach's worst <laughs> 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 with, this, <laughs> with this mouth, man. So, what, is the, what is the right thing to say on the sidelines, whether it's an individual sport or a team sport? What should parents on those sidelines be saying? Well, firstly, for a young pupil, knowing that there's somebody on the side is so comforting knowing 
that they have a place to go celebrate Just be there. afterwards if things went well. And if things didn't go that well, there's also a place of comfort, you know, to go discuss things. And a parent will always then guide and, t and console them, you know, to help make them better decisions where things might have gone wrong. And that allows a child to actually perform and go in the right direction with strength and comfort, knowing there's somebody on the side that has their back. Mm. I actually love it. It sounds like you're not even speaking about sport. It seems like these are life skills. This that is you life, can yeah, about. for but sure. But Oscar, thank you so much. We all want the best for our kids, of course, and that's why it's so important to ensure they start the day off with a nutritious breakfast and beverage. Now, whether they like their Milo hot or cold, there's no better breakfast drink to accompany the most important meal of the day. So start the day off right, and you must, might just end up like this champion of the year. It's got to be cold. For this. Let's just all agree <laughs> on one thing. It's got to be cold, man. Cheers, thank you, Ross. You're a legend. Thank you, man. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Breakfast your day with Nestle Milo.